Welcome, welcome everyone to this Age of Empires 4 build order tutorial for the Malians. And today we're going to do a fast castle build order. So we're going to start off by queuing up villagers from our town center. And then we're going to take five of the starting six villagers to Straggler Tree. And the remaining villager there from the starting six will go to build that pit mine and the houses to go around it. New villagers from the town center will go to sheep underneath the town center to food there. And of course we've taken a scout to find as many sheep as possible on the map. We want to bring the sheep back to the town center. We mustn't run out. And we're going to take that villager now. Just finished building the pit mine to build six houses in total. And we're going to build all those houses, of course, when the wood comes in from those straggler villes. And um, yeah, so just rally to food here at this point. Now, the five villagers on straggler tree, once they've finished taking that straggler tree, just one straggler tree, they will be going to food. So you can shift click them there uh, to task them to food straight after they've done gathering that wood. We will be building a production building before we hit the castle age as well, just in case we're under pressure and we need to start producing units. So you can be flexible with that. You can either go for the production building that you're aiming to build from the Farimba garrison. That's the landmark we're going to go for. So it can produce loads of units in that castle age. We can, so for example, if you're going to go for javelin throws in the castle age, you feel we want to open up with that. You could go for an archery range, get the archery um, range upgrades that you'll need for the javelin thrower. Or you could go for a stable and get some sofa out. So it depends on the civilization matchup. Um, Sofa are pretty decent at holding the lines if you need to, just to buy some time. Um, but we've got some adaptation points if you need to go a bit more heavier in the feudal age. So that villager, after building the six houses, will go to food as well. And basically you just get every villager on food now until you can age up, bringing some sheep back home. And when we do age up, we're going to go up with the Saharan trade network, building it with five villagers from food, of course. And we're going to be building it next to... well. The positioning is important because you want to build that Saharan trade network, as you can see on the pit mine, the gold vein that's closest to the town center, the side that's closest to the town center. So I've purposefully put the houses on the opposite side facing the town center. So that's because if you are harassed early, say with a vanguard man at arms from the English or an outpost rush from the Mongols, you, know, you might be able to, or you should be able to hopefully get that uh, Saharan trade network up pretty nicely and they'll be protected. Those villages will be protected by the town center arrow fire. Now, if you are facing up against a Mongols outpost rush, those five villagers that were on straggler tree might actually be useful taking another straggler tree uh, to be able to drop down a barracks and, and fend off the attack. As you can see, five villagers there going to build that Saharan trade network. And those five villagers will then build a gold mine afterwards when you can afford it. Obviously, can't do that right now. That's not too worrying at all. Once we have built or started to build the Saharan trade network, well, we'll be going to be taking five villagers off of the... Town Center Food to go to the Straggler Tree. And we're going to be taking both Straggler Trees there. Now those five villages on Straggler Tree, what will end up happening once the two Straggler Trees are taken, three of those villages will build a Lumber Camp, but two of them will go to Food. So just bear that in mind. You can prepare that and shift click them so that um, you don't have to worry about it later. New villages all come out to go to Food there. And so pretty standard. Once you can afford a mill, we're going to be actually taking a villager off of Food to build that mill because we will be relying on cows as we uh, progress through the build. That's a very, very fast source of food coming in for the Malians. And so, as you can see, we're getting that mill, and as soon as the mill is built, we're actually going to be getting cows, so that's important to consider. We're going to move those villagers off the sheep to the cows once they spawn out, and the village that is building the mill will actually go to the Saharan Trade Network towards that landmark to get to that next age a little bit quicker. And then, of course, that gives us six villagers that will go to build a mining camp on that pit mine. All right, so now looking at the situation is we're going to get to that feudal age now and the cows have popped out already. We're going to move those villages off of sheep to the cows. We get around about eight villages on the cows, so we want to aim for that at least to saturate it. We're going to queue up a second cow now from the mill and the villages are on the gold vein. We're going to be queuing up specialized pick as soon as we can afford it because we're going to be mining, you know, a lot of gold in this game for the Malians. A very important resource for this civilization. New villagers coming from the town center will go to food. And uh, we are looking nice and dandy. So there's a specialized pick now it has been clicked. And we talked about it before. Those five villagers on the straggler tree. Two of them will go to food. And three of them will build a lumber camp once that straggler tree has been taken. And new villagers go to that second cow. We're going to be also getting horticulture as soon as we can. Around about the four minute 45 second mark. And uh, that'll be nice to get that food income even faster. So new villagers from the town to go to food. Those two villagers from the straggler tree are now getting to food. I'm going to build that lumber camp. 
So at this point, this is a point of adaptation. If you're under a lot of pressure, you feel like it's an all-in build from your opponent. You can actually move some villagers off of the food to wood or just keep five on straggler tree uh, and then they go to wood if you want to drop that production building a little bit quicker. The nice thing about the Malians is they've got some options in the feud layers which just cost food and gold and those are the primary resources you're gathering. You can go for javelin throwers from the archer range which cost food and gold and also suffer from the stable which again cost food and gold. So it will delay your castle age time but it's not really too much of a problem. If you do need to adapt and get some units on the field, it's worth getting wheelbarrow as well because you will have an excess of gold. Um, but don't, you know, prioritize the units first if you're under pressure, of course. And new villagers, of course, going to food. And we will be using eight villagers to get that landmark for the castle age. It will be the Farimba garrison. Now, once horticulture did come in, by the way, we've got a third cow. So you want to get two cows, horticulture, and then a third cow from that mill. You see all the villagers going on the cow food. And this is really especially good if you are struggling for sheep. If you didn't manage to collect that many, well, you're not going to rely on them too much anyway. Obviously, get as many as you can, but it is what it is. Now, thinking about the production building you're going to drop, we've got 150 wood. We're going to drop the stable here and get some soft out if we need to. But you can also think about getting the arch range or the barracks, whichever you prefer. Um, it's quite nice to get a stable because the Furimba garrison can't produce stable units or cavalry. But it just depends what you're up against and you need to just hold off your opponent until you get to that castle age. Alright, so far so good. Okay, looking good. So bear in mind, if you are having to produce software here, once the stable has dropped down, get wheelbarrow because you should be able to afford it and, you know, your balance will be better there for your eco because you'll have plenty of villages on gold at the moment. But we don't need to produce any units here, so we're going to go straight to that castle age. So around about, um, you know, 650, you should be looking to get that next age, at least the production building down for that next stage. And there is that landmark using eight villages. Once you do start getting to the next stage, new villages from the town center will go to gold. And then you're actually going to take villages off of food towards the gold. You need to leave six on food in total. And that will help you produce some software if you have to. But you want to crank up that gold income right now so that when you do get to the next stage, you'll be able to produce those units. Now, this is a point of adaptation again. If you're under a lot of pressure and you need, need units now, don't take those villages off of food because you can actually produce software and you'll be able to produce more of them if you keep them, uh, those villages on food. So that's another point of adaptation in this build order if you need to. Um, the new villagers from the will go to gold until you hit 12 on gold. So that's the magic number, you want 12 on gold. And uh, once you hit that number, all the new villagers will go to food. So we've hit 12 on gold now, new villagers go to food. We've already queued up a sofa just to, to buy some time if we need to. Of course, we would be able to afford that first sofa earlier if we didn't take those villages off of food. Um, and we're going to be queuing up another cow to rely on. The villagers on the landmark go to gold, so we want 20 villagers on gold in total. Uh, now that we hit the next stage, we hit castle age by 8 minutes, and we're going to be able to produce units here. So already queued up um, another software, and we're going to get uh, the Donso out from the Forever Garrison. And now that we have got 20 villagers on gold, we will be taking the new villagers from the town centre, all to go to food. Looking good, we can produce a, uh, a blacksmith here at this point if you wish to. We've got a bit of wood here, got 200 wood. What you will have to do, you'll have to produce houses. You have to make houses here because you'll get housed otherwise. Because we've got units on the field here, we're not being pressured. We're going to go for that second pit mine. So this stage, you've got two adaptations. You can go for that second pit mine to generate even more gold. Or you can build your houses close to your base and get a, um, you know, a blacksmith for some upgrades. Either way, just keep producing from the stable and the Furima garrison. And with this eco balance, you certainly will be able to. 20 in gold is what you need. And, uh, you know, new villagers from the town centre are going to food because we've got 20 now. And don't forget to think about relics now that you're in the castle age ahead of your opponent, most likely. So I hope you guys enjoyed this build order tutorial for the Malians. I do have the PDF versions of my build order online and just check the video description if you're interested in getting them. If you already have access to them, it'll be in the most updated version. Take care and see you next time.